not like this. Come on, baby. Uh, come on, let's now. go. Let's let's go. Let's I want my cash. cash. Hey, cash. what is going on here, gentlemen? What did I tell you about gambling in here? You said no gambling up in here. Why? Why did I say that? You know, man. Yeah, that's right. I do know. Now I want to hear from you. Man, because gambling leads to drinking. And drinking leads to drugging. And drugging drug leads to drugs. Drugs lead to death. I'm just trying to make some ends, you know? All right, OK. You need some money. How about you earn it? Clean up the store room for me downstairs. I'll give you a dollar for every year that junk been piling up. I ain't no man. Hey, yo, man, that's twice for me. Yo, man, 30 bucks? The man's distance. What's up, Holmes? Why we got to haul this load 10 blocks to the dump? Because the man said so, that's why. Oh, yes, sir, Master Johnny. Right away, Master Johnny. Maybe I can shine your shoes too there, Master Foster. Sir. Hey, 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 shut up, man. Tommy. Look, man, I'm just dumping right here. All right, cool. Boys make an awful mess. Sonny, this don't look like no dump. Again. <laughs> what do you got there? Jay Foster? This was over 30 years ago, sir. Why do you want to dredge it up? 30 years ago, Johnny Foster was a cop. 1965. It was around the time of the Watts riots. A lot of bad air running back then. Foster shot a 16-year-old kid, Jimmy Saunders. Internal affairs cleared him, and the grand jury refused to indict him. Why don't you just leave it alone, sir? He's clean. Is that certainly clean to you? No, it doesn't. His cop buddies backed him up. They said the kid shot first, from 50 feet. Foster's returned fire from 50 feet. You want to tell me how blood flies 50 feet through the air and makes a nice fat splotch on your crisp blues? If this was evidence that could put him away, why would he have saved it for so long? It doesn't make sense. I don't care why he saved it. All I care is that I've got it now. And the DNA tests tell me that Jimmy's blood is all over it. Foster didn't just kill that kid. As a cop in 1965, he deprived him of his right to life under color of state authority. It's murder, and it's federal. I've got a warrant. And a marshal to enforce it. But actually, hope is only the beginning. It's the foundation for a community center like this. Now, hard work, sweat, commitment, that's the rest of it. From what I've been hearing from the kids around here, people in the community, the rest of it is mostly you, Johnny, an ex-cop on a relentless long-term mission, helping people help themselves. Well, now, don't believe everything you read, Angie. Me, I'm just a guy who comes to work here every day. Now, these kids, they're the real stars here. They're the ones you ought to be interviewing. Can I help you? Give me just a yeah, second. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, waiting now, for Mr. Foster. He's in an interview right now. I want now. you to actually it's fine. I'll wait. This is what I'm talking about. See what these kids can accomplish when they have a place to do it? This is what this center gives them, a haven. Thanks, Johnny. Come on over here, girls. Let's get you on camera. Mr. Foster? Yeah. Winston McBride, Deputy U.S. Marshal. I'm afraid you're under arrest, sir. For what? Violation of Section 242, Title 19 of the United States Criminal Code. The Jimmy Saunders shooting. Yes, sir. Some new evidence has been discovered. Colonel Marshall, could you give me a minute? I'd like to gather a few things. You can come with me if you want.
got a key? Sorry. He's the fastest, the only one who keeps the key. He did evaporate, sir, but my gut tells me he's still somewhere around here. No, no, I don't think you should send the police down here. I want to catch him, too, my way. First, I thought I'd get myself a haircut. Yep, I'll be in touch. Be. Well, I thought maybe I'd just get a little off around the sideburns. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what branch of the law enforcement are you with, mister? I'm a deputy U.S. Marshal, ma'am. You looking for Johnny Foster? Yes, ma'am. Johnny Foster? You better get yourself some wings. Or wheels of steel or whatever. Because maybe all brothers look like gun-toting gangsters to your 5-0. Uh-huh. But we are the citizens of this place, and Johnny's made this place a better place to live. We don't want you to come in here and take him away from us. Uh -uh. Say he's guilty. Say he killed that poor boy, Jimmy. And I ain't saying that, you understand? Uh -huh. But say he did 30 years ago. Look at what Johnny's done since. Johnny Foster saved more kids here than any 10 policemen. 20. The whole police force. Uh -huh. You ought to clean up your own backyard before you start messing around in ours. <laughs> You're all set. My hair's still wet. Yeah, but you're shorter. Shampoo's on the house. best. Marisa. The weight. That's what happens when no one takes off the weight. You're the man that's going to capture our Johnny Foster. Good news travels fast, I see. Well, Foster is a part of that weight. He did kill that boy. And it's weighing on him. But that's in the past. You wouldn't by chance have to know where Foster's hiding, would you? The man has been hiding in plain sight for 30 years. They should have got him then, not now. If I don't find him, somebody else will. It's not gonna go away. And that somebody else might be a better idea. But don't forget about the weight. The weight? The weight. McBride? Yeah? Trey Harper. Commissioner Trey Harper. Ah, you were Foster's partner in the night Jimmy Saunders was killed. Well, can I give you some advice, McBride? Sure. Leave it alone. Catch the red eye back east. It's not my call, Commissioner. As his friend, I can understand how you might not want to see him brought in. You're not alone in that. You don't understand a damn thing. The usual rules don't apply. Well, how about a refresher course? Rule one. Jimmy Saunders done a hell of a lot more good dead than he ever did alive. Mostly thanks to Johnny. Rule two, this civil rights thing. This murder thing. It was a clean shoot. You and I both know this was just politics. Well, you're preaching to somebody who's not even in the church, Commissioner. I'm just here doing my job. Yeah, well, J.W. Clemens got his eye on Sacramento. Public officer. Now, 
You want to be his campaign manager, you go right ahead. Just don't expect my boys to lick your envelopes. Saunders house, man? Oh, the shampoo man. We figured you'd come around. I'm um, Leah Bookley, Jimmy Saunders' sister. Come in. The National Honor Society, valedictorian, advanced placement, everything. What'd you expect? Basketball trophies, a couple of banjos, maybe? <laughs> right now, most of me thinks I should never have asked you in. Most of me thinks you should leave right now. Is this where I thank you for your time and a cup of tea and be on my way? No. The rest of me thinks you might really want to help. Sometimes I just think it's stuff. On a good day, it could be clues, connections, pieces of a life. You're not going to find Johnny Foster in that jar, Marshall. What about your brother? Is it really true to catch a man like Foster, you have to get inside his head? Yeah, especially a guy like Foster, since I don't think I'm going to get much help from anyone. Thank you. Why don't you come for dinner tonight? You can meet my husband, Wes. He'll fill your ear up about Johnny Foster. He's a heck of a cook, too. Come on, you need to hear the other side of the story. Someone needs to hear the other side. Okay. Yo, Mr. Man. Hey, yo, Mr. Marshall Man. What's up, man? You come to uh, chit chat or you come to throw that? Nah, 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 nah. No chit chat till you down, Lord Man. Yeah, you can see you got to earn your props, man. Proper respect. Right. Oh, uh, I think we got a little misunderstanding here. <laughs> you did, man. Oh, I definitely huh? think so. Give me a reason, bro. Yeah. Any reason in the world. Come on. Who do I have to fight? <laughs> yeah, man, I right. float. Uh -huh. I kick. I stick. Okay, well, what's yeah. it gonna be? It's gonna be kickboxing, karate, kendo, kempo, judo, jujitsu, aikido, taekwondo, tai chi. My master says it's all the same. I studied with him since I was five years old, but now he lives on top of a mountain with two goats somewhere in China. I think you'd like him. You know what? I don't think you want to fight me right now. Oh, no. No, 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 not me, because uh, I'm too pretty. <laughs> but my man, uh, D-Cup here, well, see, D-Cup will uh -oh. definitely take you up. D-Cup, yeah. Yo, 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 talk to me on this one, brothers, talk to me. I got a 20 here that says my man D's gonna take him out. Fresh me. Stick fight. Oh, D cup of hell. Say what? Johnny's rules, fellas. Johnny's gone. Rules are gone. Where? Yeah. Johnny's not gone. Not chill, all right? He said Foster was still here. Why don't you tell me where he is? He's right here, China man. Where else? What, so you could throw him in the hole for good? Where's that kid? I know you wanted to talk to me because you stopped that fight. And that guy would have stomped me. 
And if you take Johnny, this center gets stopped. He's the one that holds it together. I don't think he's alone in this. It's just him. It ain't nobody else. My girls usually won't quit until they pin me. <laughs> Mine won't ever quit. That's what Lee and I try to give them. The idea that you should never quit. He talks a smooth talk, walks a smooth walk. He'll find some fool to help him hide him, listen to his empty words. But it doesn't hide the fact that he's a killer, a cold killer. Some people think he's a saint. The man's got a problem. He's chasing two people. Oh, it's no problem. I just have to find the connection between the saint and the sinner. is a foreman at the Giacomo rig. That's when the lamp when my brother was killed. They struck oil there the year after Jimmy passed, lots of oil. I go down there every year, lay down some pennies, Jimmy's favorite flowers. Eight years back, I was a little emotional and this big oil-covered hand gives me this nice clean handkerchief. It's enough to make you believe in fate, a twisted kind of fate anyway. For the last 30 years, this has been one of the most productive fields in Los Angeles. These rigs here pump out black gold seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Never take a vacation. What kind of dirt is this? Oh, that's sand. It's one of the things they look for before they start a wildcat. That's a speculative well. They see the sand, they know there's a good chance there's oil someplace, like if the rocks are more porous. Then they take a look. You got a permit for that? Bet I do. Paid up and in force. How about I show you later? Good idea. Cover me. I didn't know what I was gonna do. Everything's coming apart. Son, this place took me years of blood and sweat to build. I'm not gonna let it come apart. Johnny, man, you don't understand. There's no money. All right, just listen, just listen to me. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Thinking I've been putting off a whole lot of years. I'm going away. And I want you to run the center. You crazy? I can't run the center. No, no, no way. Yo, Nan, let me ask you something. How many dollars of rock did you run on the street before I saved your sorry hide? Huh? 
Huh? Young man, you were an entrepreneur just on the wrong side of things. Now, now you're on the right side. And you can do it, yo nine. You got to do it. You're the only one that I can trust to do it. You're the center, man. I mean, it's just Apollo Bricks without you. Oh, no, it's not. The center is the people, it's the kids, it's the program. You're the center. It's all of you. Don't, don't you understand? Do you understand me? Huh? Yeah. Good. Because we ain't got much time to do what we got to do. Which is what? Are we going to rob a bank? <laughs> no, man. We're going to take out some insurance. You're walking the street with your little shiny badge, chasing a legend. Why don't you just paint a bullseye on your forehead? The Commissioner, I'd just like to know what really happened in 1965 with Jimmy Saunders' homicide. I just want to understand why this is all so difficult. <sighs> have a seat, Marshal. I hope you never have to show this to anyone, yo nine. But I can't take the chance that the truth won't survive me. It's the truth that will keep the center going, so you got to know it. And if you have to, use it as a weapon. Keep the money flowing. I want you to know what really happened in 1965. 1965 was a different time. Oh, we had problems, sure, but not like today. Jimmy Saunders was one of those problems. He'd hustle dope to anybody. You got to understand, there was a code, an ethic back then. Not like today with five-year-old kids running crack on the street. It wasn't done back then, selling to kids. It just didn't. Saunders ran like a dog. Johnny called out, freeze. Johnny dropped him from 50 feet. Now, maybe that's not nice and federal like you might prefer. But it was righteous, squeaky clean. 50 feet. Why would Foster have blood all over his shirt from 50 feet? Because Clemens says it does. All politics are local, McBride. And this one's as local as it gets. Thank you for your story, Commissioner. Hey, it's no story. It happened. Yes, sir. Running this center is, A, using your common sense, and B, little ingenuity, sometimes a strong hand, but C, never forgetting who you're here for. And this, what's this, D? Yeah. That's our deal, yo, you and me. Now, everybody plays by the rules. Nobody ever has to see this. Nobody. Now, this is going to put the rest of the federal carpool to shame. <laughs> it's my phone. Sorry. McBride! Johnny Foster. Mr. Foster, you got a lot of people tied up in knots. Why don't you tell me where you are? I'm everywhere. Nowhere at the same time. Do you understand forgiveness? Yes, I do. I also understand my job. Don't do this, Johnny. Please don't do this. You've got important work to do. Now go on. It's got to be this way. Go on, son. Please. I'm sorry, Marshal. I guess you wanted to win this man you're chasing. I'm way past that now. Why don't you tell me where you are, Johnny? All I really wanted to do was be a stand-up officer. Now, 
1965, I played a part. I let the department know I would play by their rules if only they would let me in. I'm figuring all the time that the brothers would understand because I was doing it for them. This kid, Jimmy Saunders, only saw one side of it. The Uncle Tom's side. Provoking me, accusing me. Yeah, I pretended to ignore it, but it hurt. It hurt a lot. And that day, in the lot, I snapped. I grabbed it. I wanted to kill it. I wanted to. And after Jimmy died, after the shooting, I guess I was two people. One, Johnny Foster, built the youth center. The other, Johnny Foster, can't forget the death that brought him here. Marshall. Yeah, I'm right here. Do you believe in sacrifice for the greater good? In principle, yes. Then you should believe in me. Maybe I should. I just followed the music. I'm ready to come in. I know you are, Johnny. You're not going to go, Johnny. You're not. This isn't your fight. No, oh, no, no. You see, I'm running this center. This is my first order of business right here. This isn't business. Business ain't at the end of a gun. Business is at the end of a hard day's work. Yo, nine, you shoot this man, you will be a punk the rest of your life. Why'd you come here? Hmm? Why'd you come here? We're doing good work here. And don't you mess it up. Come on, son. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Come on, son, just give me that gun. For the good. Marshall will be back in a moment here on ABC. Depends how busy I am, but you'll be the first one to know. Electricity around here, doesn't it? That's your car, isn't it? 
Yeah. You get optional insurance? No. Wes, can I borrow your car? What do you think? Can you give me a ride? Sure can. We gonna chase somebody? Well, that's more like follow. Follow I can do. Let me say it. Say what? Follow that car. <laughs> Afternoon, Sergeant. Detective Luther Winslow with transfer orders for one Johnny Foster. I believe he is in your care. Just pull over, Wes. Where? He might see us. What's the matter with you, Wes? Are you nervous? Every minute since I met you. theory is she's gone from your custody. Damn it, McBride. The commissioner was Foster's partner. Have you ever been out to the commissioner's house? No, why do I care? He lives in Malibu. I've never been there, but I understand it's a very expensive neighborhood. So you're saying a commissioner can't live in a decent neighborhood? Maybe he made some good investments. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you this. If you're shot in the stomach straight on, where's the exit wound? The exit wound? Yeah, the exit wound. Where's the exit wound? If you're shot in the stomach straight on, where's the exit wound? My back. Exactly. The official story is that Foster shot Jimmy Saunders from 50 feet away in the stomach. Foster tells me he was struggling with him. And a shot went off. And your point is? My point is, I think the blood on Foster's shirt came from the exit wound. I think they were having a struggle. And then from somewhere else, there was a gunshot. Hopper was a shooter. And Foster is protecting him. got for cleaning your storeroom. Look at yourself. Look at yourself, B. You dying, boy. And you making the choice to die. Now, you don't have to do this. Shut up, man. Shut up. You don't have to do this. Shut up. You're getting too close to him. You switch sides, man, Brian. <laughs> see, that's your problem. You see everything in black and white and sides. There are no sides, man. That's just what's right. The truth. It's just what's right. Listen to me, bees. Just listen to me. I want you to get up and walk out of here. Right now. Now, you are not part of this, Bees. 
This is between me and him. Can you just shut up, man? You just shut up! No! No, 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 no. I want to hear what he has to say. Johnny Foster, the beloved, great, great man. You don't have to do this, Trey. You don't have to do this? Come on, you can do better than that. I kept up my end of the deal. I took the fall in 65, I'm taking the fall now. I'm saying I shot that boy, just like it's always been. Now, as long as you keep paying, keep up your end of the deal, you don't have to do this. You're still clear. Oh, is that why you ran, Johnny? To keep me in the clear? I didn't run. Trey, killing me is not going to fix what we've done. Sounds like you're begging, Johnny. You begging? Huh? Are you? told me, he said, <laughs> he said, <laughs> yo, someone wants this to look like 1965 all over again. Foster shoots the kid. Only the difference is this time, they want it to look like he killed himself. He's not around to carry the weight. We'll have to take care of this ourselves. He's taught me everything. You taught me too well, Johnny. There's something I gotta show you. A man. Should never have to beg for forgiveness. Forgiveness is a birthright. And I learned that lesson the hardest way a man can learn it. And I'm not saying that what I did was right. It wasn't. I made a deal with the devil. 
but not really. No one can do that because when you do, you become the devil. No man is so high that his feet don't touch the ground. Johnny Foster's feet were dragging in the dirt. Dirt and blood. The blood of Jimmy Saunders. But this does not mean that this center, the center that Johnny Foster built, is any less proud an achievement. It is the very trust and pride that the Jimmy Saunders Youth Center stands for that could have prevented the very ugly and desperate end of Jimmy's life. I am not blind to the ironies before me today. Today, Johnny Foster stands trial in the ultimate court. I hope he finds the justice he deserves. But I promise you that I will find Johnny Foster's murderer. That's right. I believe that Johnny Foster was murdered. I have a witness. His name is Beezlebub. Maybe after we get his story, we can finally bring to closure 30 years of pain. you did, didn't you? Fantasy. Beezlebub's dead. I'm sorry. Died last night. That's just a dummy they use for training doctors. You're wasting your time, McBride. Let me see if I got this right. You heard that Jimmy thought there was oil in that land, so you forced him into a confrontation with Foster. Didn't go quite the way you wanted it to go, but Jimmy was dead anyway. So then you bought the land, leased it to Giacomo Oil, and then you paid for Foster's youth center to keep his conscience gagged. Sealed his deal with the devil. Only you were the devil. Johnny didn't have a conscience, just ego. He was jealous of that kid. His whole life was to prove himself better than that stupid kid. He was gonna take that murder rap all by himself because he didn't want to see the youth center go down. He could have just walked away from him. Didn't have to kill him. Fiction. Yeah, we'll see. Why don't you give me your weapon, Commissioner? That's for Johnny. take Harper's money anymore. I can't. Don't you see? Yes, I do. The truth sometimes gets buried so deep inside that you don't even know it anymore. But I remember this like it happens every night all over again. Harper and I found Jimmy Saunders that night playing in the dirt just playing in the dirt like a kid, spooning it into jars, jars of dirt. Down there in the dirt, boy. Pretty stupid down there. Find anything there in the dirt? 
trying to make it right. But like they say, two wrongs never can. Forgive me. Next on The Marshal. Nobody escapes on my watch. I am not gonna help you find Jake. You ever kill anybody? Marshall McBride? She's four feet eleven, pure heaven, Woodrow. Kiss the carpet. They're getting married. I'm a friend of the grooms. Deputy U.S. Marshal, you're under arrest! Whatever we do from here on in is gonna be right on target. Kamesh tracks a serial killer who's a mistress of disguise. Let's find this woman. Can Tony stop this masked murderer before she strikes her next deadly pose? An all-new Kamesh. Then, Spencer and Hawk are back. Now, they're up against a small town hiding a dirty secret. I hear there's a lot of drugs in town. Okay. Spencer, Pale Kings and Princes, after the Kamesh, Thursday on ABC.